gave him a ten dollar for something in this envelope. Is that what it costs? Ten dollars? Yeah. Oh, you can change. Oh. 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 Hello, good morning, welcome to another Florida vlog. I am currently over the lagoon slash lake at Coronado Springs. Me, my mum and sister are off to Universal Orlando today. Leon's sitting this one out because he's just been there, done it. I think it takes about half an hour to get there and I think it's around about 20 to 25 dollars but I will fill you in on this once we've got to Universal. My mum and sister bought their ticket beforehand because they wanted to do two days whereas I just get the ticket on the day and I, Leon worked out yesterday that it's going to be $216 including tax and I have about 400 left and it's Tuesday and we leave on Saturday. Let's go to Universal. What time do you call this? When you're desperate for that content, just film them up the stairs. I feel like I woke up this morning and because I've had to put lathers and lathers of sun cream on this morning, I, I feel like I'm a shiny red tomato. The mummy's closed, which is a shame because that's one that I kind of fell in love with last time. Ripsaw Falls, if that's what I'm calling that. That is down as well, but that's not a shame. Yeah, we're at Universal. Never had voodoo donuts. Never. Never had voodoo donuts. I haven't got my ticket, so I need to get my ticket, which I think is about $216 included in tax. That is a one day ticket, two parks, so then I can hop across to Islands of Adventure as well. These guys got their ticket earlier because they're going to be here for two days. Can you remember how much you spend? Yeah, that's right. Nearly £300. Oh yeah, it's, oh yeah, that is a 14 day ticket. I'm glad you said that actually. It was $206 with tax. $206.61. Yeah, she was lovely actually. Yeah, that's what we want. She's good at starting your day. We are going to try and get on ET first. It's a non-stressful day today because these guys are here tomorrow. I don't like massively big rides. The mummy is shut. So we're just going to take it easy today and just do some really nice rides, walk around. Have a nice day. Yeah, that's the Simpson ride. So it's just around that area. I definitely wouldn't waste time on Fast and Furious. I wonder if you can actually go on these or whether these are actual people's boats. Just taking a moment to appreciate this view. I don't know whether it's because of all the rides that we've been on that it's not really certain whether they're open. I, I feel like we're going to get here and it's going to be down. Like it's not 100% certain that we're going to be going on it. And everybody is kind of like just stood outside and surely there's not six people to check you in. Well. But six people to give you bad news sounds about right, doesn't yeah. it? It's yep, down. ET's down. Everything's bloody down recently. Plan C now. So ET is well, down. Plan T. Um, ET's down. So we're gonna go through Diagon Alley to go and do Great Ox, because that's one of my favorites as well. Um, and we're gonna start the day off in Harry Potter. The Mummy, I know I said earlier that it, on the app it says the Mummy is closed. The Mummy is in fact open. And Hagrid's is at a three hour of wait already. <laughs> Why there's not that many people here? It's because they're all at Hagrid's. Optimism is the key today. Are we ready? No. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Welcome to Universal Mum. So there's only a 15 minute wait for Gringotts. This is, yeah. We're doing it, we're going on it. Laura has a tip for everybody. Don't put your pack ticket in your locker with all your stuff. Because you need it to open your locker. Love that ride. It just has the most dramatic start to a ride as it just tilts you and you hang there. But after that, you're good. 
Yeah, I mean, I didn't know, but I'm glad you told I forgot. And I'm glad you told oh, I remember. No, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, I it's not how you want it to feel. So, or like it seems like, quite. You want it to be. Heavy. Oh, $25 though, that in Disney would be 100 Yeah. Yeah, we've got them at the $12, honestly, you can tell the difference between Disney and Universal. Dragon yeah. Alley. Dragon Alley. Oh, Diagon Alley. <laughs> what is it? Diagon Alley. <laughs> Only fifty dollars. Yeah, but it looks quite big in I don't know. We'll just sort of buy a smaller one. Oh. That is massive. I felt that heat from here. Can you remember we went in here and we were like, what can what you do in there? I think, no, I think we've watched a vlog where you go in there, you exchange your dollars for like Harry Potter money oh. that you can spend here. Oh. I think. I don't know whether I've just made that up. Look, Gringotts banknotes available here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I've actually given some information that's true. I wonder what like the smallest amount you can get is. What are you changing? Uh, we'll go with the 10 scene as a well. $10. That was the first one. I'm going to see the 10, please. Thank you. I'm interested to see what they look like. Ooh. Let's have a look there. <laughs> I just gave him a ten dollar for something in this envelope. Is that what it costs? Ten dollars? Yeah. Oh, you can change. Oh. 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 Okay. It's not very good. You know when you just like a little a bit, bit but yeah. Can I feel it? Yeah. It's just a bit of paper. I don't know why you expect it. Are you keeping that or spending it? Well, I was going to keep it, but it might be spent. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm going to keep it. I don't I'm know what I was expecting. I, I was expecting something a bit more patterned yeah, and not like just with front. 10 on it. Yeah, something on the it front. It could be yeah. Monopoly money, that. It, could, it needs something more on the front. Harry it? Pottery, yeah. Like the back's like got green dots. Yeah, I almost, that would have been good if that crest was on the front. Just a bit a jazzier. Bit Once again, we're disappointed. <laughs> As I said, and I think this is true, oh. you can spend that here. Oh, she did say that, yeah. She, she yeah? yeah? Okay, she, that's true. She, I did see a vlog where the mum had thought, I don't want the kid to spend too much money, so you only transfer like a certain amount and you oh, get a certain yeah. amount that you can spend here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or you get it as a souvenir. Right, let's go. I don't think I've ever been in here, actually. Oh, look at the suitcases. Oh, that's fun. That's oh my God. Oh, how much are they? All right, can you please check, because I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, I think I prefer that. That's, oh, it's the same thing. We need, we need a price. That's got me right on. How much are they? 195. It's $195. Can we just see what it looks like? If you shoot in this corner, And then I can watch the footage back and see if it's... Oh, it looks well nice. Well, that's it, isn't it, James? What? That'd be so cute for your house. How much are they? What have you found? I bet they were twenty nine ninety nine, and I bet they're now at $19.99. I can't focus. It's not focusing. Nineteen ninety nine now. Is it for, and how much was it? Thirty two. Oh, oh gotta put it too long. Well, you can think about it, can't you? Well, we know it's here, don't we? Which and you guys are also come here tomorrow, so if I get home and like evaluate the money situation, we can always pick one up. James is just having a walk around the shop. This is one. The red one. I didn't expect this situation. <laughs> Into this well, I don't know whether it is. I like their um, photo frame up there. $29. So we haven't really had a picture that I'd like to put that in. I love the look of this. That feels solid as well. That's $11. That feels like a... It is, isn't it? 
peppermint tones. Ten dollars. A skiving snack box. I think that's such a good idea. No price though. That's actually a really fun idea, isn't it? This looks like where you're gonna get your cloaks. <sighs> See, I'd love a cloak, but when would you actually wear it? Because I'm not going to the co-op in it. But it would be interesting to see how much they are. Because I think, I'm sure they were 100 last time we came. Yeah, it's 139. <laughs> I've never been down here. <laughs> that is, Creepy. yeah. They definitely have a drink. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, thirty-two dollars. Yeah, that's really nice. This is Laura's ring. Deathly Hallows. It's time to return to the mummy. On our way to the mummy, and we're just having a look at some of other shops as well. Arcades. Didn't realise there were arcades here. Did you? Yeah. It's in a technical rehearsal. The attraction may operate intermediately throughout the day. Not all elements of this attraction may be functioning. It's a 35 minute wait. Let's do it. I'd never want to do the mummy again. I don't know what I thought of the mummy last time. Last time we did the mummy, I'm pretty sure it, it didn't feel that bad, but it was horrible. Your head around. I think since doing Cosmic Rewind, Cosmic Rewind is amazing, it's smooth, I can deal with it. That wasn't great. This is all for Horror Nights. You couldn't have coped. I don't think so. Think Hanging bodies. I think this is the scarecrow area. I've seen this on somebody's video. Yeah, there you go. And people do kind of jump out at you and look in there. Alright, should we try our luck again at ET? It's 20 minutes for it, They've still got their security guards on there. Is this open or is it not? It says 20 minutes, but... Oh, people are going! People are going! Can we come across some glasses? Oh, no! No! So I know I joked about it, but we have just got over here and it's delayed again. This is cute though, isn't it? I know, she's in the You've just Sorry? <laughs> You've never seen E.T.? This is your doing. Okay. We're gonna head over to Men in Black because that's another one of my favorites. It's almost like you get a come for me here. Feels like you spin, Ranger spin, but um, not. We've just found this screen, here we go. Um, E.T. delayed. Um, Men in Black's not on there, it's probably on a different page. Men in Black, Men in Black 15 minutes. I can smell garlic and pasta. Oh, it smells so good. This is weird, isn't it? What are the giants? We, saw, we you saw you earlier, actually. We were like, they were at Discovery <laughs> Cove. <laughs> We've just bumped into four people that we saw at Discovery Cove yesterday. So I said I'd give you a shout out, but we didn't take any names. We were just waving. We're just waving. We're gonna do the Men in Black shop just before, oh, that breeze. I've literally been saying that I want an old school lunchbox for work. Oh my god, it's only $24. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get it. I love it. If you can't love yourself. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna do a RuPaul thing, but they are hideous. Lockers <laughs> again. Lockers, okay. These are the free ones. So, just in case you want to know, you scan your ticket. There. Oh. I nearly knock a kid out. Look at the height. Here's a top tip for you. If you've got a rucksack like this and you've got loads of crap down here, balance it out. Because it's too small a gap. <laughs> Especially when you just put a uh... big. Just put a lunchbox. It's not going to go in because of the lunchbox. I'll edit this. I don't think we will. I think we'll keep this in. <laughs> You'll be getting two lockers next. What a treat for everyone this was. I don't want to scratch that though. 
in that way? That's gonna, that's gonna fly out. This was supposed to be quite seamless. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you put the lunchbox in there. I should have got that off, shouldn't I? There you go. That's in there. And that is a stress-free way of using the universal Men in Black lockers. Off to Men in Black. Oh, my camera! <laughs> Just gonna switch you in here, it's okay. See you in a minute. I think I, I'm quite hungry. Do you go and eat? I think I need to eat. And then we'll make a little plan. Yeah. So we're back to Diagon Alley, which mum would say a dragon alley. And we're gonna eat for the first time at the Leaky Cauldron. It's easy for me to just turn up and do these things because either Laura or Leon orders the food. I've got a question. How do you pay? I don't know. Because when you do it on the app for Disney, yeah. Yeah. it comes off your Disney dining credit card, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So is this going to be in pounds or dollars? No idea. Um, I don't know whether you can see, but you have Toad and Hole down here. There's the bangers and mash that we're going to get. Uh, hopefully not the exact ones, because that looks like a piece of wood. Um, a banger sandwich. The banger sandwich looks nice. Chicken sandwich, plowman's, cottage pie. That looks like something out of Sweeney Todd. But you can pay dollars, you don't have to um, do mobile order. But also we did try and do mobile order, but the card that we were trying to put on it just didn't work. I don't know whether the signal's bad. And um, it just kept coming up with an error and we were just told it you can get in the other queue, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer, which is is true. I do feel like it's taking a little bit longer. You gotta do what you gotta do. This just reminds me of Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Lego, oh, bloody hell. This, you said I know. Um, this reminds me of Lego Harry Potter. When you jump on the tables and flip the chairs and they all dance around. So we've all gone for sausage and mash. Um, I've ordered some butter beer. I had this for the first time in Warner Brothers Studios, the London tour um, at Watford. Laura got some apple juice. <laughs> Ooh. And then you can also just pick up some free tap water as well, which I'm gonna maybe put in my bottle to fill up. But look at this. So for somebody that doesn't really like to be around when I eat like a lot, a lot of people, it's quite nice that you actually have the, the table splits as well. So it's not, it's not massively loud and it's not too busy either. I think it's quite nice considering it's lunchtime as well. And that only took about three hours to get in. Three lots of bangers and mash. Peas, carrots, broccoli. A tomato. Um, sausages, those sausages look incredible. The sausage was firm but fair. How do you think it was? It was very filling. Yeah, very filling. Definitely get sausage and mash. Yes. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with it. The gravy was nice, the sausage length was nice. Although I feel like there wasn't too much sausage. Yeah, there's a lot of sausage. It's almost like four sausages in one because it's such a long one. But all of that, including the butter beer, and the butter beer was $7.99. Mine came to $24.98 or something. Which I think for the experience of sitting in here as well, I think, I think it was completely worth it. Normally we, I don't know whether it's because we've done so many rides recently, but normally we just come here and try and get on all the rides quite quickly. But it's quite nice just to take a nice pace today. We were in the shop counting my dollars and I said to James, do I put this on my credit card? And James said, that is not a question you should be asking me. <laughs> Don't put that you on me. You answered well, pretty cool. Yeah, don't put that on me. So, as we approach ET for the third time today. Oh, they are going in. Oh, yay! yay. Quick, quick before it closes. Yeah, I know. Hi. 15 minutes. Oh, thank God we're actually doing the ET ride today. <laughs> ET's closed. I cannot. ET's gone. What is wrong with E.T.? It's the only ride I want to do here. Right, we'll come back. At least this side is open till 7. Okay? At least we got into the queue this time. But it, does, it doesn't fill you with confidence, does it? No, that no. we're going to be on 
a bike suspended in the air and it's broken down oh, every five minutes. It's the little bike it's thing. The bicycle. And then you pedal it and then it goes up and around. Yes. The amount of grief it's giving me, it's actually worth it. <laughs> Is it now back up? It says 15 minutes and it's closed. They need to reopen now. Do you think it's just reopened again? I'm not going back. Are we being punked? Well, Is there hidden cameras? The other side yet. The four people who we went to, we met earlier today from Discovery Cove, I'm sure the girl thinks I'm a bit special. <laughs> oh, you are, you though. Are. You are. <laughs> they probably think you're both a bit special. You nearly fell into the lagoon how many times? Yeah, I did. Um, We've not really sold ourselves or saw... the actual YouTube channel. Just going to get my cauldron cake that I had in 2018. The witch's hat, the no melt ice cream. I've heard about them actually. Can I have the cauldron cake please? Yes, that's everything, thank you. There's so many people with their wands out. We're just gonna head to King's Cross and get the Hogwarts Express to um, Hogsmeade. Now you're all caught up with what we're gonna do. Please make sure you have your park park tickets all ready to stand. Thank you. So that's this. Just make sure you have this because you're obviously then skipping into Islands of Adventure from Universal Studios. So we have Princess Laura? Yeah. We yeah. definitely do. Princess Laura? Yes. <laughs> no, you're just Thank you. Prince their, James. Their <laughs> we go to Islands of Adventure. It's all popping off at King's Cross. Yeah, but we could walk to Islands of Adventure. We could, yeah. But we're not gonna. Oh my. I think between us, Dora's had a pro plus. Did you know that there's a mirror bit in here? I mean, we're not gonna have time, but if you look through here, everyone's disappearing through the platform. Which is quite cool. Because it looks like you're yeah, from there. It looks like you're actually walking through platform nine and three quarters. Welcome to Hogsmeade, chaps. So this is the other place that you can eat. Um, less on the menu. I think we ate it. Good. I'd like to try here though, I've heard some really good things about it. I just always find Hogsmeade to be too busy. It's like this last time. Yeah, and you almost feel like you can't sit around and take it in because you have to constantly move. Should we see what Owl Post is? Never been into Owl Post. Jesus. Diagon Alley has a completely different feel to yeah, Hogsmeade. Yeah, I don't really like it. I'm like, Hogsmeade is a nightmare. Like, you can't look in front. You can't actually just enjoy I mean, because there's so many people. Me and Mum are just going to go on a bit of a journey. Laura's going to wait here with the bags because she's not too keen on it because of the spiders. We're going to go on it. But um, I'm not feeling Hogsmeade at the moment. I, I've got to admit, that's probably one of the rides that I am surprised I like. Yeah. I'm surprised you go on something I don't. Yeah. I'm quite, I quite like it. This is the forbidden journey that we're talking about. You couldn't give me an amount of pins to go on here. 
Are you ready? This could be you tomorrow, guys. The thing is, it's a shame that it's a 40 minute wait because I feel like, you know, I don't have 40 minutes to spare. But if it was, I'd have gone on it. You know, it's a shame. No, it's a shame. It's a real big shame. I like this. Mr. DNA. $25. Mr. DNA. Oh, my voice broke. <laughs> I just became a man. How much is it? No. Eighty-two dollars. I don't feel like I've ever been this way, and I've been here four times now. This is it. Yeah, it's literally Kylie River Rapids, isn't it? Oh, I think what I've looked at, and this was years ago. There's a few lifts. Okay. But it's not big drops. They've got seatbelts on. They do have seatbelts on. This looks like a nice leisurely nip around the block in a dinghy. You will get soaking wet. We've just turned up to what seems like an area full of people who have just had a bath in their clothes. Are we ready for this? They're drying off their shoes. They are drying off their shoes. One's using a sock as a sponge. So, I've seen a lot of videos about that, and I didn't realise that you would get this drenched. This is, this makes Carly River Rapids the tamest ride ever. Hands down, my favourite ride in Universal. But I don't know what we're going to do now because we are absolutely drenched. You go up a, like a lift hill when you think everything's done and you possibly can't get wet there. And then when it releases you, <laughs> all hell breaks loose. I love it. It's not the drops that do it, it's the... There's like water and pipes spraying at you. The drops aren't high. They're not your problem. You have to bet, you have to um, pay for the locker, so we paid $5 to put our stuff in there. So glad we did though. That was proper worth it. I don't know what I'm going to do about this situation, but yeah. Laura, Laura, luckily, someone gave her a raincoat as she was going on. These are just started and they just looked up at me and I go. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. We need to find the bit. You know where they were stood before we got drenched? Oh, we need to find the bit to give these guys a bit of context as to how you get wet. I was optimistic that the dryers would be free for some reason. I've been I've been here for a week and a bit now. I should know that nothing's free here. Um, so we refuse to do it because it's only contactless. Oh, this is the bit. So you come down here and you get drenched. This is the first bit. Absolutely crazy. Crazy. This is so exciting now that it's not us. That is crazy. That just drops it on you, doesn't it? I love how Universal don't care. Do you know what I mean? I think in Disney, they, they want to scare you in being wet, but they don't wet you. Universal actually don't care. Oh, I could stay here all day and watch this. <clears throat> Straight, oh, she got it. One more and then we'll go. <laughs> it's not It's not a light drizzle, is that? It's not a light drizzle. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> oh, this is a better view. It bounces off the middle, flashes everyone else. <laughs> oh, she is in the wrong place. She got it, didn't she? She, uh, she loves it though, she loves it. I don't understand why there aren't more people queuing up for that. Obviously, because we're drenched. That's a giveaway. Oh, my, I'm, my feet are swimming in my shoes. We need to dry off. 
now about an hour since we went on the wet ride, the Popeye ride. You know exactly which one I'm on about. We are drying off. Um, I feel like we're pretty much there. <laughs> okay. So it's about six o'clock now. We want to see the Dark Art show on the castle in Hogsmeade tonight, which is about half past seven. But we're quickly nipped to City Walk because we're going to go in Voodoo Donuts. Um, sprinkle triple chocolate. Oh, I'm going to end up with four, aren't I? I? I'm assuming they come in a bag of four. I think I'm going to get in there and just see what they look like when I'm there. Oh, they look, oh, they that's look loads gorgeous. bigger than, yeah. they look bigger than what they did in there. Yeah. So we have a Captain, a Captain, which is Captain Crunch. Yeah. Oreo, which is, it's called The Dirt. That's called... Eight Mile. Eight Mile, and that's just dark chocolate, I think. Yeah. How nice they look. They do look $10.86. Laura's got a reveal. Out of my paper bag. <laughs> oh, no. Nice. Well, it was, so I put my thumb in it. That's the... Because now my pink one's fallen out too. No, no, I'm stuck. Right. Help me. Okay, and then that's a little pink, but that's literally all that's in the bag, so I need you to put that one carefully in there. Yeah, we're regretting the reveal, aren't we, guys? So, if you get two, you get a bag. If you get four, you get a pretty box. I should have spent more. I wanted the box. And there we go, that is the end of our universal day. These guys are coming tomorrow, and you're gonna do things that I didn't want to do, and like Velocicoaster the no, the Hulk. and the Hull. We completely missed the Dark Arts show. We got there too late, we got there at quarter past seven, and they'd cornered it off. So they were at capacity. So if you do want to get there, I'd probably recommend getting there a lot earlier than 15 minutes before. That being said, we're now off. Going to eat the voodoo donuts. Oh, the fireworks! Literally just been saying we've missed it. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.